Have you ever wondered what it's like to have a professional set up your home automation system? Well, today we're out at a Lake Minnetonka property. I'm here with Lance with Admit One and Charlie, the designer. They're gonna walk us through this amazing project, show you the products that they selected, how they use Crestron to integrate everything together, and kind of some of the decisions that were made along the way to give it this awesome effect. Come on this way. Um, at the entry here we have um, a door phone by Skybell. It's integrated into the alarm.com platform. Um, it has motion detection capabilities um, and um, analytics. And of course, if you press the doorbell, it will ring the client's phones. So inside the home, we have um, a couple of panels for controlling um, the lighting throughout the home. Um, so um, things like the entry, the exterior, um, and turning the entire house on or off. Um, we also have our security interface too, so that you can arm and disarm the system, um, depending on what's happening. So in this particular case, we have a Crestron lighting and shade control system installed, um, all, all managed by the keypad right here. Um, when the homeowner first moves into the property, um, we typically um, put in our best approximation for the types of scenes um, that they would want in terms of lighting and then control of the shades. This particular room has a ton of shades in it. Um, but then after a couple weeks of use, the homeowner has a better idea of how they're gonna use the home because obviously it's new to them too. So we come back and custom engrave all the keypads um, to their liking. In this particular case, we're kind of midway through the process. So we have some of the um, buttons custom engraved um, and some of them are still available for programming. Well, this space is really set up for um, entertainment with the kitchen and the dining and the family room space. Of course, we have the obligatory 77 inch OLED TVs from Sony above the fireplace. Um, but also this space um, presented itself with some challenges um, because of the skylight um, aspect of it here and the clean lines of this home. Having speakers, um, the traditional speakers um, in place um, were a challenge. So um, uh, the teams with the design company, Charlie and company, um, uh, our manufacturer, um, Leon Speakers and Admit One um, all put their heads together and came up with a really unique design for these speakers. The, light, the lights were done by American Lighting that were chosen by the, um, the architectural design firm um, and um, we modeled our speakers after it. I flew out to Michigan to meet with the speaker manufacturer um, with one of the prototype lights um, to come up with a design that worked well. Um, once that was done, um, we had to work with um, the design team to come up with uh, a cadence that meant um, for the specific lights, the placement of the lights, we had adequate lighting coverage, but also in our case, um, the um, audio coverage had to work well too. So there was a little bit of work to be done with where the lights went and where the speakers went. Again, main purpose to blend in the design. So our product, our technology is kind of invisible um, amongst the property. Um, so now we're working our way into the master, excuse me, um, in the master bathroom. Um, and inside this space, we have um, our Samsung frame TV, um, so it can be viewed um, while you're um, relaxing in the tub. So again, uh, we're in the master bedroom um, here and we have a Samsung 65 inch frame TV to integrate well with the decor. And we also have an architectural um, speaker by Sonance in this space um, that again matches the size of the lights in the fixtures again so that we have kind of a minimalistic approach and our technology is out of the way of the design. So now we're in the media room in the lower level of the space. Um, we went to our go-to favorite 77 inch um, Sony organic LED TV because it's one of the best picture qualities out there. Um, but for a, a more elaborate experience, a more immersive experience, we actually put a um, drop-down screen um, in here as well.
So we're in the mechanical room where our um, head end of our equipment is. Um, so um, admit one feels strongly about uh, the network in any given home because our dependence on it on, in terms of the control system, the lighting system, the shades, the automation is also heavily dependent on a network. Um, in this particular case, we have an access control um, system in here um, that manages both the routing, the switching, and the wireless aspect of the home. That's all this equipment right here. Um, on top of that, power is super important to us as well. So we wanna make sure we have a stable platform in all of our homes. Um, so that means that we have a um, uh, online UPS. In this particular case, we love Surgex. Um, so we have that here. And we also have smart outlets so that we can um, better service our clients um, um, with rebootable outlets. Um, they also can automatically self-heal too so that if they detect a, ter a certain device is down, like your cable box isn't functioning, um, it can auto reboot the outlet that the cable box is attached to, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, on top of that, uh, we do have a, a full video distribution system in this home. So what that means is um, we don't have to find places throughout the house for our source equipment, like Apple TVs, Direct TVs, Blu-ray players and the like. We put that all back down here in the rack and then the TVs are actually routed back down here too. So the connections of the TVs is served up um, by this box down here. Um, and um, they can access any of the sources from any of the TVs in the home. Um, we approach the audio the same way. So again, our audio sources are home run in this rack. And then there's multiple audio zones inside and outside of the house. Um, all over the house, again, managed by the Crestron control system. This particular home uh, has a centralized lighting control system. Um, so all of the light fixtures are wired centralized down to these panels here. Inside the panels here, we have relay boxes and dimmers to control the lights throughout the house. Um, what it means to the client is we get things like um, single button action to turn on or off the house. Um, out of convenience, but also there's security aspects to that too. So if you hear something in the middle of the night, you walk right up to the keypad that's by your bed, you press, you know, um, all on and all your exterior lights or all your interior lights can turn on. The other benefit to the client when we talk about home run lighting control systems is um, eliminating wall clutter. So instead of having those famous banks of switches, um, in our houses, even for 10 years and not knowing what the individual switches do. Um, we have nice, neat labeled keypads um, with you know, labels and scenes on them. So again, single action, um, executing uh, control over multiple uh, light switches. So here we have a hard button uh, remote control from Crestron. It's actually one of my favorite remotes um, in the industry. Um, I really do like the tactile buttons across the remote versus a touchscreen. Um, so um, all of these buttons are uh, custom engravable and match the sources throughout the house. So we have multiple satellites and multiple Apple TVs. Of course, we can listen to audio in this room too. Um, and we have a game jack as well. We can control the lights um, as well too, on or off. Typically on our TV zones or our TV rooms or rooms where we have a TV, um, we um, uh, always have a hard button remote control. Um, but anywhere in this house, um, you can always go to your phone, which we know is nearby, mine is too, and connect to the Crestron application um, and control any room from there as well. So at this property, we have an outdoor screen porch um, that is, has a Suera TV in it. The Suera TV is designed to be outside all year round, so it can be used in all the seasons. We also have heaters in this space and of course audio. Additionally, in this space, we do have phantom screens to conceal you from the bugs, but yet have the view unimpeded. Uh, we chose Crestron because um, they have an end-to-end -end solution um, that encompasses the lighting, the shades, um, the control system itself. 
Um, they also are really well known for the reliability. Um, the systems are used in really complex, sophisticated installations. So again, um, uh, uptime is mission critical. Um, so again, it aligns with our needs um, and the client's needs. In this particular case, design was super important. So we spent a lot of time making sure that our technology didn't interfere with that design. So the speakers, the shades, the lights, um, all of it was super important. So when you're designing a home like this, it's important to involve an integrator like ourselves, audio, video, home technology as soon as possible. That way we can get involved in some of the design um, choices early um, and make sure that our technology is most integrated and really suits what your needs aesthetically and um, functionally are. So choosing a full integrator like ourselves would allow um, the integration of all the technology in the home and a more seamless experience. Um, you also have someone to support the technology along the way. Um, in our particular case, service is key for us and we have products like um, VIP service or the Butler service where we're basically at your disposal 24 seven and can help you with your technology at any given time. Um, I think technology today is so integral in our lives that, um, that things functioning are important. If your shades or your lights aren't working, then you're gonna want someone to call. The timeline on a project like this consists of really four facets, I would say. There's the design aspect of it, um, where we're really doing discovery um, from not only a function standpoint, like what you want your home to do, but also how you want that technology integrated into your home. And then we work our way into the pre-wire, which is done when the house is in sticks or in lumber. Um, and then we work ourselves into trim, where we start to solve some of the light fixtures and the speakers. And then the final phase would be we're installing the televisions, the finished product, and doing the first round of programming. Um, typically, we always come back a couple weeks after the homeowner has spent some time in their house because it's foreign to them. They haven't lived here before, and they have another round of programming changes, particularly for lighting control and shades. My name is Charlie Simmons. I'm the founding principal of Charlie and Company Design. We design uh, custom residential projects all around the United States. Uh, the main uh, concept for this particular project was to blur the lines of nature and architecture. So this particular site, obviously, it's wide open. We're in the middle of the woods uh, overlooking a pristine lake. So uh, our clients wanted to have create a space that you felt like you were outside the majority of the time, even though you're inside. Obviously, in Minnesota, we have very cold winters. But essentially, this is a, a glass pavilion, not only on the sides, uh, lakefront and uh, non-lakefront, but up above us, we have a 60 foot long by 15 foot wide uh, skylight. So uh, anywhere from the main uh, public places or public spaces within the home, you can see woods to the north, south, east, west, and actually take a look through the skylight and see the virgin pine trees up above. Uh, main challenge is controlling light. So obviously if you're in a glass box, you have what we call the fishbowl effect. Uh, you can see out, but people can see in too. Uh, we're not concerned about privacy on the front of the home, obviously, because uh, that is uh, secure. But on the lake side, uh, obviously boaters can uh, come up and, and uh, look into the house just as much as you're looking out of it. So having a uh, visual control system is critical on this. Uh, part of it and then also controlling the light from up above uh, you'll notice that we have these slats that are uh, in a very distinct pattern and that is essentially a solar shade and what that does is it helps filter much like a pergola would on the outside of a house in a garden that helps filter uh, the uh, solar rays and uh, creates kind of an interesting architectural pattern not only up above but on the floor as well and also gives an opportunity for uh, placing lights, speakers, all of the technology that's uh, needed in any home nowadays. On this particular style of home, being sort of almost minimalist in, uh, in architectural style, being able to hide all of the, the tech 
is incredibly important. What we didn't want to have is conflict between buttons or solar shades, etc. So everything needs to essentially feel integrated 100% or completely disappear. We love working with Emit One on literally every single one of our projects. They're our first go-to guys when it comes to any kind of uh, tech integration. Uh, what makes them stand out uh, way above anybody else in this field is their attention to detail and also their follow-through. Uh, you know, let's be honest, a lot of people claim that they can put in tech into the building, but when it fails, what happens after that? And Emit One, by far, is the best to come in, troubleshoot, uh, on, a, uh, on a single notice or uh, on a single phone call and have everything figured out within a day. Lance, Charlie, thank you so much for having us out. This is an incredible property. We really appreciate your time here today. And if you guys at home have any cool properties that you're working on and you want to show off the tech there and you're in the Minneapolis area, just uh, reach out. We'd be happy to connect and see if we can do something together.